Hey everyone, how you doing today? Ah, it's my off day. I think I may actually go to the beach. Um, hadn't posted it in a, a video in a little while. Working so much, it's just been crazy. But uh, I did myself a favor um, about a week ago. I got a Gaia subscription, G-A-I-A, -A, the streaming uh, spiritual network. You know, I always thought that it would be kind of, you know, kind of cool to watch the alien stuff they got on there. You know, you know, so I thought I would check it out. Didn't know that I was going to find very useful stuff. Uh, if you if you've never checked Gaia out, and I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just telling you, hey, it's pretty good stuff that they got on there. The Gaia, I think it's like eleven dollars or something like that a, a month. It's not much, but. <clears throat> um, Dexter ended, which we love Dexter here. They ended it wrongly again. Uh, but so I canceled my Showtime membership and upgraded to Gaia. Now there's a wisdom teachings uh, series on there by David Wilcock. That is just phenomenal. Just absolutely phenomenal. And the stuff I've said on my channel about science being corrupted and... Uh, being afraid to shatter their foundational theories. That really wasn't the whole picture. It's actually a uh, an attempt, a purposeful attempt to hide your power from you. Uh, as David Wilcock says, uh, he talked about, um, I think it was done more than once, uh, they had 7,000 people get together and meditate at the same time. Uh, just, just trying to get into that peaceful, calm, faultless state, you know. And during the time that they meditated, terrorist acts and violent acts all over the world decreased by like 72%. And uh, they tried, you know, they, they looked at every all the different factors, and I think they did it at different times. That's just one of the crazy studies that they've done. Um, uh, the... the the accuracy of people's ESP predictions over a 20-year period was correlated and to see if the people were more accurate with their ESP with their with their clairvoyance um, at any particular time of day and it wasn't a time of day really solar day it was a galactic day when the center of our galaxy you can't see it because of the sun obviously it's and all that kind of stuff but when it rises off over the horizon in other words you have direct line of view with the center of the galaxy when it's directly overhead like noon galactic noon when the center of the galaxy is directly overhead uh, the accuracy of all these people's readings went way up during that time period so something's coming from the center of the galaxy that is about our good. You know, like it blasts to us and increases our accuracy in the middle of the galactic day. It doesn't make us, doesn't do bad things. It makes us more in tune and able to sense more clearly. That's pretty wild, right? So many studies and stuff that's just flat out ignored. It, it peer review, some of the stuff's peer reviewed and just ignored because it doesn't suit the narrative. You know, I've never believed in conspiracy theories too much, but this whole thing he's talking about makes a lot of sense. Why science just turns its back on direct, absolute evidence and ignores it. Imagine. 7,000 7, people meditating, decreasing violence by 72% in the time they meditated. What if 20,000 people meditated? What if 100,000 people meditated at the same time? We could literally shift this planet in a different direction. And I think that's what they're afraid of. It's interesting. You need to go check out Gaia and the David Wilcock. I think it's called Wisdom Teachings good stuff. Let me know what you think about it. Oh, like and subscribe and all that stuff. Thanks.